Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Annovella. Today is Friday and that means a deep dive. So I just finished my first Tarje Vesa's book. The Seed. This is the Dutch version of The Seed. What a book. What a book. I'm 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 completely blown away by this book. It is wonderful. So well done. So you have to know that this book is written in 1945 or published in 1945. The story goes like this. There's a small island, Norwegian island, and very small. And um, there's a farm... And there's a, on that farm they keep, amongst others, uh, pigs. And, and one of the pigs is giving birth uh, to piglets. And all of this, all of a sudden, the pig eats its own piglets. At the same time, there's a man who arrives there, and he had had. A very traumatic experience, and so he was, in a way, he has PT, PT is a post-traumatic stress disorder, yeah, PTSD, yeah, that's the word, and uh, so he doesn't react like ordinary people would, and um, at certain points, they find at the farm a girl that. And they think that it is because of that stranger who arrived from nowhere on that island. And people are enraged, really enraged. And uh, they form a mob and they hunt him down and they kill them, him. And the story is really about how perfectly normal soft-spoken, often people, um, once they are in a sort of a mob or in a group and there's an anger, how primitive they become and how, yeah, almost like animals. And once it's all over and they see what they've, they've done, they quickly look for an excuse so they can't be accountable. Now, if you know that this book is written in 1945, what a mirror, what a mirror for, in a way, a lot of people in Europe. I mean, not only the Germans, there were a lot of people who made the same mistake. It made me a little bit think of Lord of the Flies, although Lord of the Flies was different in the sense that uh, the author claimed that evil always prevails. Evil always gets the upper hand. They've done a lot of tests, uh, enough tests, and uh, there were similar uh, things that happened. And... It, is, it has been proven that it's very unlikely that something like The Lord of the Flies will happen. But once there's anger and everybody is against one, it can become very, very dangerous. And that's what a lot of people who have bad intentions especially politicians have bad intentions, is what they do. They always say, he, that's the one who's responsible for your misery, for your, um, yeah, for your miserable life. That's the one, like uh, what they did with the Jews and the Roma gyps um, gypsies and, uh, and people of color and people uh, that are... Uh, LGBTQ, it's always, always something. And it's in Belgium, it's uh, Flemish speaking against French speaking. It is, uh, yeah, uh, right against left. This book shows that they are playing with fire. And 
sometimes it just needs one little thing that happens to make it explode and even the mob can't foresee what is really going to happen and this is a beautiful example of um, how yeah how dangerous it dangerous it really is sometimes i i have friends that travel the world and they often say when you have an accident in certain areas please flee the scene and go immediately to a police station because people can get so mad at uh, a white person who kills one of their own that there instantly is a mob and you can fear for your life even though sometimes uh, there are no victims but it can happen so yeah it, it it shows how dangerous a mob can be and um the the prose is phenomenal very sharp clean uh, engaging uh, you see everything it's very vivid and and tactile oh what a book what a writer so a lot of people told me that i should read also the ice palace and i will definitely do that. I think I will try to read his whole uh, catalog because, yeah, this man passed away in 1970. It is, he is known as being one of the best Norwegian authors and people from Norway, you can be proud of an author like this. Oh la la, he is brilliant. Great food for thought. Please read it. It's not as horrible as you would think, so don't be too squeamish when you want to read this. It's okay. There is a lot to be said about this book. And uh, yeah, it's wonderful. It is a, a wonderful, wonderful book. I will read something a little lighter this weekend because it's August 1.5 this weekend. So I will read The Deep about uh, this is by the same author of um, um, Jaws and Ra Ravages, which is a bit of an, I don't think, I don't know. It's about. Uh, a woman who uh, goes to look for her sexual identity or something of the sort. There you go. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope mm, that you will discover some beautiful books this weekend. And uh, I see you again on Sunday for my coffee clutch. Bring your coffee, tea something stronger, whatever you like, you're welcome. I'm looking forward to talk to you again. Oh, it will be alive because it's the first Sunday of the month. Okay, there you go. Ha, alive. So uh, six o'clock by time. That is um, GMT plus one. So yeah, I will um, make a... Um, a reminder tomorrow so you can all be present if you'd like to. Okay, talk to you later. I hope all is well. Take care of yourself and see you on Sunday.